cup. Can you just please drive? Did you see something? People describe seeing an entity that takes on the form of your worst fears. <gasps> So this movie Bird Box that everyone is talking about, um, man, it's just what I told you. Uh, you know, a lot of times in Hollywood and, you know, through movies, they try to show you things that are real or things that are going to happen. Or, I mean, if you want to know what the Illuminati, the Baphomet agenda, the, the devil, whatever you want to call it, if you want to know what they're thinking, you can always look at the movies because they're going to show you exactly what they're planning or what is going on. And in this movie, Bird Box, I mean, this is something I talked about in The Truth Behind Hip Hop 10. In Pop Life, I dealt with CERN. CERN is the super collider that is a proton accelerator, and it goes at these crazy speeds to open up portholes so that they can go in and retrieve dark matter out of other dimensions or other realms. And this movie, Bird Box, is just showing you what you know, what they believe is going to happen when this dark matter comes into our realm or into our atmosphere. Um, that's all it is. And these people that are looking at it, uh, you know, um, with their eyes is basically showing you how they are being possessed by the dark matter or these dark images. They show you all of the images in the movie where the guy has the pictures that he has drawn. He's showing you all of the dark dark matter images uh, that they're seeing, but they're seeing them, you know, from another realm or, you know, outside our uh, natural ability to see. So it's more, more so just like demon possession, like demons getting people, that's what's happening to them. So they're becoming possessed by this dark matter. It's making them kill themselves, but you notice all of them didn't kill themselves. Some of them just became possessed and began to work for these uh, spiritual creatures or whatever to kill other people. And that's what demons do. They take over your body, take over your existence, all of these different things that we are seeing. And I'm telling you, this is, you know, even though the movie is fictional, they're showing you things to come and they're, they're showing you what could happen if this dark matter comes into our realm. And the Bible is specific about this and tells us that we are not children of the dark, but we're children of the light tells us that the light of the body is the eye. All of these different things that the Bible tells us about light versus darkness, they are showing you darkness and they're showing you where sin is going to lead us as a people and lead us as, as a world. You know, sin is going to lead us into darkness. So these same demons you're seeing in the movie are the ones that are in the music you're listening to. They're in the, you know, uh, sin that you are, that that's so easily besetting you, the things that you're doing against the word. That's what God's word is for, to protect us from darkness so that we won't be children of the dark, so that we can walk in the light. I'm getting all kinds of correspondence. People just hit me up on all of the social media outlets and email asking me, what is this? What is this? I mean, why is everybody going crazy over this movie? And, you know, it's so funny how we will just embrace and be entertained by the very thing that could be detrimental to us. And that's all this is. They're showing you CERN, they're showing you dark matter, and they're showing you what could happen once this dark matter is unleashed on us. So that's why I stay with the light, the light of Jesus Christ, the light of the word, and I make sure that I walk in the light. Mm -hmm.